following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, rather exciting day with the Dow up 471 at 34,808. You got the SP. Uh, so the Dow is up 1.3%. SP is up at this stage. Let me just check it out. I think it's 1.84 SPX. There we go. Uh, SP is up, yeah, 1.84% at up 81 points at 4492. <clears throat> You got the QQQ, the NDX 100, uh, up strongly leg B. Uh, I meant to mention the Dow is in leg B. There we go. Okay, there are. Look at the S&P at this particular point, uh, up, what did I say, 1.7. The QQQ is up 2.1, up almost eight, uh, eight points at 385. Very strong leg B. And look at this left side high that was made uh, back in July, remember, right? There we go. This is the week of, let me just get that right. Yeah, this is the week of, uh, it's not giving me the number, 21st of July, goes to 387.98. We're only three, point, three points away from that. That's incredible in the single leg to the upside. And you can see he has the falling axe formation, making a cup formation, going to the left side high. This is what we had uh, typed in. And I, I'd say that I just don't, I, I, I've got this written up and I've done all the technical work, but I don't see how 408.71, the high of November the 23rd, even if I do this with the left side, right side price time match, and I move it, the symmetry of the left side number of bars to the high right here, to the, to the high in uh, 2022, it comes out to the week, to, Somewhere in December, maybe the middle of December. And look at this. We are now so close to that. It looked almost impossible, didn't it? And I drew in the dash, chap wave, inside wedge, target, uh, repellent line. And that, so far, this is doing very nicely. Now, on the very short term, at 1020, maybe even a little earlier than that, we should start to see some kind of market consolidation with all the shorts having to cover and, within that context, to have... A new buying come in. So let me just go to my one and five and ten minute charts, if you don't mind. Yeah, so peak F in the one minute chart, uh, leg C, possible peak C in the uh, five minute chart, and leg C in the uh, ten minute chart. And that's implying that there's just enough room to maybe make a, a little bit of a pullback and then have a pop to the upside. And then I wouldn't be surprised if for about an hour and a half there's a kind of a sideways trading range, and then we might see a bit of a pullback, and that pullback is going to be really important because the move from the low today, look at this, when that 8.30 time frame came in with the whatever, uh, the, the, I, I don't even have the exact figures, but when the, um, the report of much lower increase in inflation came out, that set in motion at 8.35. Now, let me just go to this chart here. It's much better to go to the source. This is the one-minute chart. The one-minute chart actually dropped. It was trading the 44.30s. Uh, it dropped to 44. <laughs> this is amazing. 44.20. And then it just soared to the upside. And that was at 8.31. Well, you can see, if you want to make a measured move, a one-to-one -one move, with this being like the propeller shaft, then... That would take you way into the 4507 area. Uh, 4507, it's actually way, way higher than that. It would take you up into the 4517 probably. But look at this. The way there's just been a steady move to the upside, almost disbelief, and then, oh, it is moving up. I better, I better cover. I better get new positions. And now what you've got is at least at the 4508 level, you've got a little stalling, and that says that that should be a little bit of resistance. But it could go just a tad higher. I want to see if there was, I think so. Yeah, five-minute bar. That means this is a peak C at 4508.50 in the five-minute chart. 
The next high was 4508.00. So we've made your leg C to peak C in the five. It's still a leg C in the uh, with a doji candle in the uh, 10 minute chart. Let's see what happens. My suspicion is that you're going to make one little pop to the upside, possibly for that leg. You don't have to do it, but that's kind of what we're looking at with a very strong nine over the 14 moving average. MACD is very strong. Stochastics flat at 95 percent. On balance volumes are tad overbought in the 10 minute chart. So, yes, there's a chance. And then we will see between 10, 20 and about 12, 20 this afternoon, maybe even until Larry's show starts at one o'clock. There's kind of a digestive phase. And that's where we will see if stocks, now I have to jump around, if there are stocks like um, in the retail area, RTH, spectacular move, almost 4% up today, um, and trading at 177.75, I shouldn't say spectacular, yesterday was a spectacular move, a really big candle. So this, I have to squeeze this a little bit so you can see what I'm looking at here. So you've got this cup, this W, successful W, and I just took it out, took it out by a fraction. 163 round number low on the 6th of, of October, and 162.97, I told you, three, three pips, it took it out. So this dreaded H goes to a beautiful cup formation. I've been watching this very closely, and I'm waiting to see how by midweek, that's by tomorrow, everything's holding, because what we're looking at is for the very first time, with the IWM, the Russell 2000, and now the retail, the RTH is the retail, Van Eck retail ETF, where 20% is Amazon. Look at the difference in chart patterns between that and the XRT, which is the S&P uh, retail ETF, equal weighted. That's very different. It did not. Um, I don't think it took out. No, it didn't take out the left side low. Uh, 5748 on the 6th of October. 57.59, yeah, there you are, 57.59, uh, 57.48. So that is, in fact, the up arrow, peak A, peak B, peak C, and one penny above uh, 62.46 in the XRT, SARS leg D, and then all of a sudden, at 52.69, uh, the 200 period moving average comes in as resistance. So I need to see, for this to be a sustained move that's broad, not, not selective, but broad, I want to see the XRT Pushing into by, today is the uh, 14th, just before Thanksgiving would be appropriate. I want to see the weekly chart nicely above 64.43, or at least testing it and treating it as a magnet line before it becomes a propellant line. I don't want to see this reverse very soon. I want this broadening out. I want to see a target, which has just been smashed to the downside from the... Uh, 180 level back in something like March of this year, plummeting down to the just over 100, trading at 110 right now. I want to see the the, the laggards, other other than the WalMarts, which have been leading. Walmart made a new uh, all-time high. Yep, as we're speaking at 168. Costco. So I want to see the same kind of broadening out. Whoa, Costco, not an all-time high yet. A fabulous move to the outside at 588 all time high was this high right here back in. Just give it you as we go to the break. Uh, the week, um, in April of, of 2022, it hit 612.27. Um, yeah, very nice move. I want to see that board move. I'll be back in a moment. Bye, we'll try. Tigers. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to trade right alongside Larry Pesavento? We'll wonder no more. Wednesday, November 15th, Larry Pesavento will be hosting a live trading webinar. From 8 a.m. to noon, look over Larry's shoulder as he analyzes potential trades and sets them up. Not only will you get a front row seat to the mind of a veteran trader, but you'll get to interact with Larry live as he plays his trades and goes through key material that has aided him in his profession. Go to the front page of TFNN.com, sign up for the service, and enjoy. TFNN. Educating Investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So, this is what I was talking about. There's your peak F in the one minute chart. But look, the green nine period moving average is still being fantastic, holding well. And here's your peak C in the five. That means that, in fact, if we can go a little longer, I'd prefer if we could go a little longer. Uh, 10, 18, we've got to go another two minutes. Ah, I don't think it's going to do it. If we go another two minutes, then the uh, daily, the daily, the 10 minute chart will not have, that would have made a peak C if it hasn't taken out the high of 4508 or hit 4508.50. And at the same time, um, yeah, that would go to a D. And then I think we can have a bit of a rest. Uh, after the spectacular open. So there, let, let me go through a couple of things here. I, I want you to just show you this quickly. So Costco is beautiful action. I want you to go to the um, uh, silver. Silver is actually finally moving with gold. And I think that this is important because I want to see gold and silver starting to move independent of the geopolitical situation that's different altogether because then you will see the dollar, which is pulling back down. Uh, oh, now it's down dollar 14, 1.14 pips. Um, yeah, at leg E going to the 200 period moving average of 104.28. It broke the support level, the weekly chart. Finally, the 9 period moving average is turning down, but it's still very strong. So this is a process. And at the same time, this is helping. So you, you've got gold now up 20.3. 20 you've got silver up. Silver is up at uh, 23.16, it's up 0.80, it's very nice. But look at this action, look, I always love to draw, draw in the channels. I've been doing this since I hand charted with pencil and ruler back in the 70s. Oops, don't need that, I need this. There's a Chevrolet falling axe formation. That's an, oh, why is it, oh, that's because I'm using the quiet mouse. The quiet mouse has a mind of its own. Look, there it is, falling axe formation. That's lower highs and much lower lows. Finally turns around, tries to make a cup formation or a V-shaped formation. Put that in. Let's see if that's going to unfold over the next day or two. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, silver has a very strong resistance at 23.50. That's the 200 period moving average. It's been a repellent for a couple of months now. So we'll see if it's able to break into the 2480 area, which will be really good in the next week. Now, what, maybe three, four days, who knows? I just wanted to show you high-grade copper, having a good day today. 
uh, down at the bottom of the range. They're still saying the economies are still weak around the world. Now, I wanted to show you. So the semiconductor, we're, we're, we have no shorts in the semiconductors now. We missed by a penny getting the SOXL yesterday. It went right to the level, I said, and then just wouldn't go down. One more penny for us to enter it. That's three times long. Uh, small position, we missed that. But look at this action. Very good. 161.17 was the all-time highest trading at 159.86. And it's breaking the falling axe formation in the uh, monthly chart. The weekly chart's already done it. Now the monthly chart. This is very good. So that takes me to a question that I got from uh, uh, Michael. Along, uh, uh, about, i say, quite a number of weeks ago, we were looking at AVGO. That's Broadcom. That's a symbol for, I just wish they had made the symbol BRCM instead of, i got to always remember AVGA, AVGO, Avagio, uh, E. So here we are. We're looking at a very nice move up. It's up. 18.47 at 965. So uh, Michael said, we were looking at this a while ago, and you said, just give it a little time. Well, I did get in. I got in at 820. Um, what do you think of it? Well, what I think of it is, uh, I don't have to say what I'm thinking of it, because it's telling you it's making an all-time high as we speak. It had this rectangle formation that it was stuck in. It made the arch formation. It retested, and then it started uh, just breaking to the upside. All the resistance, it kept going to the resistance and I'll tell you what the price was right there. That peak F that was made back in the week of the 2nd of June at 921.78. Wow, it pulls back. And then it, uh, under 800. Then it runs up to just underneath that. And then it pulls back. Then it runs back down to the 14 period moving average. Comes right back and tests it. So you've got your price here of uh, 921.76. You've got a high here of 9. 23.18, slightly higher high. I call that a peak B because this is a pattern we're very familiar with. Pulls back and then goes to a, another high of 923.67. Pulls back. I, can you imagine how many times it tested the, the 923.25 area? Here it is, 925.91. Pulls back and now it's trading at 965. I love the action. Now, the only thing I would say uh, in terms of breakout patterns is that this rectangle now is an extremely strong magnet area. Not the, not the whole thing, but certainly the nine period moving average above nine, uh, let me just get that right, 894. So this whole area between 915 and 890s, that's over the next two, three weeks, I'd say that that's something that you've got to monitor only because if it takes it out, you're back in the range and it'll just stay there for a little while. Now, the, the chances are that this became an instant restart in the monthly chart. I can't rule it out. The 9 is way over the 14. The price is way over the 9. The MACD is extremely strong. The histogram has started to slip the price. Actually, the green 9-period differential is still very strong. And the stochastics at 89%. I love that. On balance volume says... Be a little careful. I'm getting a little overboard in the monthly chart. That can take a long time to unfold, but you have to look at the daily, which says on balance volume is a tad overboard, but it's beautiful at 94%. So I would look at this and I'd say it has not, in this move here, which is almost like a one to one, A to B equals C to D, going to this leg E in the, in the weekly chart. The MACD is only just crossed positive, and the week is still young, so it's at zero, zero. No, it's, yeah, it's just barely po crossed positive. The stochastic's only at 59%, and that's just saying that, the as I'm going to say, uh, I'll repeat it again, this whole area coming back towards this 9, uh, 30 to 925 area is kind of like a magnet. So I love the fact that you're in at 820, and I'm just going to say to you, let's just monitor this for the next few days, going let's go all the way into Friday. And the reason why I say monitor it is, you see the way this leg is just soared to the upside, and in fact, it could be a brand new peak A, peak B, peak C, and even a peak D rather than the alternate count. Um, so all everything I'm looking at says, by Chapman wave notation, it's just getting to an area where you expect some kind of a pullback. I would call it the digester phase. You've got NVIDIA, which has earnings coming out, um, the 20, I think it's 21st or 2nd, of, that's next week, That's if I read that correctly. 
This is only a leg A. Uh, it's a single leg A up, and it's gone from under 400 to almost 500, dated 497.63. But if you look at the weekly chart, it's got that same, Avagia is actually a better chart, looking chart, because it's already broken that resistance. So this is making the cup formation saying that the last high, which is an all-time high, of 480-something, yeah, 488.51, back on the, 8th, the week of the 8th of September, that's going to be, that's, we're going to watch that because that's where you might find that it's a little sticky that it kind of stalls. But you've got a whole week to go. And the monthly chart has this pattern that I drew, the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone, which can take you to the first resistance of the line if it's this week. Oh, I just hit touch the bottom of the Oh, I'll have to do that. Scale. This little mouse is a little too active for me. Well, active mouse. I'll be back in a moment. We'll talk about Avogia. We'll talk about many other things. And Pfizer was a question in the day. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, so let me just finish up by saying 508 to 520 would be the inside track repellent zone, rising uh, re repellent zone, uh, looking out a couple of weeks. Uh, that's in the NVIDIA. If there's earnings and a disappointment, the key support will be in the um, five, uh, sorry, five, will be in the 465 uh, to 455 area. Okay, so that's that. And I just, I think I, I lost that train for a moment. I, AVGO. Um, yeah, so that is a, a slightly different pattern, a way more positive pattern. 
and it's breaking, it's already at all-time highs. So that's uh, Broadcom, Avagio, AVGO is, is the symbol, Pfizer. Now, Pfizer, this is what I've been talking about for some time, and it's fascinating because, look, here's Pfizer at uh, multi-year lows. Hey, hey, hey. It's at a low that was made back in 2020, um, back in June, it hit 29.96. Today's low is 28.99. And then the low before that was March of 2020. That was the major low. Remember, we went along the diamonds uh, back then. We went along the diamonds and we got kept the core position. We got the diamonds um, in October and uh, still along that. So what we're looking at here is uh, this is different altogether. This is completely opposite. This is the inverses. I could draw it in. I'm not going to take time. It's it's a little extended. Left side, right side price time match takes you to uh, about two months ago. So it's already um, pulling back, but it hasn't taken out the initial load. It has taken out this perfect one right here. So let me, actually, let me just draw this in. Uh, so we're talking about chart patterns, pattern recognition, and uh, Larry does a whole program tomorrow morning. Uh, and it's going to be a fantastic show with a market like this, you can imagine. Uh, so Larry Pizzavento, Trade What You See, author, uh, has his program 1 o'clock, and he's doing an all-morning live webinar. Purpose is to use his technique to demonstrate it, and while he's demonstrating it, to put on position and to make money, which he's done almost every, just I think every time actually, he's done a, a, a live webinar. So sometimes more than others, but anyway, it should be fantastic, all these techniques. So the question is, is Pfizer ready? And what I wanted to say is the rotation, look at this. Here's Lily, Eli Lily. Look at the exact opposite chart formation. Look at the way it's going up in the monthly chart. And that's what I've been talking about for a long time, that in a sector... You can be totally confused because you can have just the one stock that's just moving like a, like an angel to the upside. And then you can also have the one that's not moving. You say, what is going on here? Well, that's what's going on here. So where would Pfizer turn around? Well, Pfizer doesn't need just the market. It needs kind of an impetus. It needs some kind of a kicker. It needs something in its product lineup. And by the way it's looking right now, this is the first time in decades that I, I just... I don't, I don't, the chart is saying that there is nothing there. Usually, it's in an uptrend. It's making higher highs and higher lows. Now it's making low highs and low lows. So <coughs> I would need to see, if you're looking at this more intermediate term, I'd like to know that the product lineup has something that is attractive. That's number one. And number two is, here yeah, 29.42, well, every time it made a low, you would think, oh, yeah, well, why Why not get Pfizer right here? Because where can it go? I mean, surely it's going to go up, but it went down. But at this particular point, the unbalanced volume is giving me a signal to say, this is one that might have a little bit more duration to the upside if three things happen. One is it's trading with a low today of 28.99, just missed a round number low, but I think yesterday it went under that. It went to 28, um, yeah, 28.93. So this is just okay. It's up uh, 42 cents at 29.42. It's been dragged up, in fact. But if you're really interested in this one, you have to think of it as an intermediate term one, and you have to give it quite a bit of room um, for a stop. I don't like to do that. So I'm just going to say to you, 29. if you're interested in buying it at 29.39, Oh, it must make a new low in the, in the next two days because if it does, it just follows the pattern over and over and over and over again. So 28.92 would be my stop. 28.92, that's already a point and a half. That's, it's a little too much. But anyway, I'd say that as a starter position. I would only add to it if on Friday, this coming Friday to this coming Monday, it's able to touch 31.30 is the... Is the um, Pink night period moving average in the weekly chart. Uh, here again, you've got the unbalanced volume extremely oversold. So it has to all work together. 
it's going to take a lot to get the other technicals to be very positive, uh, certainly in the, not so much the, mag, the stochastic in the daily, which is the weekly, which is at 9%, but the daily is at 16%, and we'll have to need, all, it'll need a lot more to the upside. So nibble here, I talk, give, me, give me a yell, we'll, we'll look at it again in a few days' time, maybe Friday or Monday of next week, to see if it's not taken out the low, but in fact, it's actually above 30.01 to 30.33, which is the daily 9 period and 14 period moving average resistance. But I want to see it tag once, the 31.30, which it hasn't done for about four or five weeks. It hasn't been able to close above it uh, since there was one bar back in June where it went to 40.37, and that was it. It started its next huge move to the downside. Hope that helps you. And if you, in fact, if you use options, I would just say, you know what? Get it, get it out the money, not far out the money, but a 30, a 30 call and go to December. Uh, I'd even go to January. It's a 30 call and let, let it tell you the story. And then as it's moving up, you can say, great, I'm making money on my option and now I'm going to get into the, uh, I'm going to get into the stock. So that's the way I would play, but it's really tough. Um, next question came in, XLY. So the XLY, there we go, XLY, I don't think I've updated in quite a while. Is the S&P Select Consumer, isn't this a discretionary? Yeah, I think it's a discretionary. So a huge move up today, up 3.22%, 167.31. That's just saying, hey, everybody, we're coming into the holiday season, and not only that, you've got lower inflation. This is fantastic. Well, it's above the 200 period moving average. It's taken out all the left side resistance. It's gone right through the gap, uh, into the gap of uh, September the 20 something 20th. The low was uh, 167.08. Today's high is 167.57. So it's full the gap. The next day, the high was 162.50. Yeah, so this is good. Um, good eye. I, I think this is one, it's a little tough to get it right here because you've got your falling axe formation. Let me just do the patterns without any notation at all. So you've got the highs. Now what I normally do is I like to go to the outer point of the candles. But in a case like this, it behooves me to say I'm going to skip the wick of this one because the body of a number of candles just says do it this way and it says that's your first break to the upside, the Chapman May falling exclamation, but it's a weekly chart. Better not use it as if this is Friday. This is not. This is the beginning of the day Tuesday. So this is the start of a breakout. If it breaks out and holds, I will then move this up to that level. Because it's 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 just a it's a directive indicator. It's just telling me a directional indicator. It's telling me what to do. I like it very much if you're in it, I think maybe you are, then um, if you're already in it, then I would just say, I would make my give your stock a little bit of room because it's just a very sudden move to the upside. I don't know where, where you're in, but I like this very much as the start of a Have you ever wondered what it would be like to trade right alongside Larry Pesavento? We'll wonder no more. Wednesday, November 15th, Larry Pesavento will be hosting a live trading webinar. From 8 a.m. to noon, look over Larry's shoulder as he analyzes potential trades and sets them up. Not only will you get a front row seat to the mind of a veteran trader, but you'll get to interact with Larry live as he plays his trades and goes through key material that has aided him in his profession. Go to the front page of TFNN.com, sign up for the service, and enjoy. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, a couple of questions I need to get to right away. So I just first of all want to show you in the Chapman Wave uh, methodology, we're always looking to identify the lowest low bar, then count each successively higher higher peak. You can go peak A, then higher B, then C, D, E, F, and G. But a D, other things can happen. That's number one. You can get the sharpest pullback, or you can recycle for a brand new uh, buy signal to buy mode going to another peak D. So just with that said, here we are. We've gone to uh, just quickly draw out this one because some people said, could you just show us what's going on in the E-mini? Right here is where you can get a little bit of a pullback, but you've got to think that people have missed out the move. Uh, you're only an hour and 10 minutes or so into the trading day. Uh, there's a lot of short covering still to come. Not, that's number one. Number two is a lot of new buying. So any pullbacks, I think, will be met with some buying. But look at this. Here's your chub wave inside. This is your... Uh, it has the characteristic of a, um, there you go, there's your peak D and three bars and retests that high. So it goes A, B, C, D, E again and then A, B, C, D, E again. Just getting a little tired. You can see the MACD is putting back stochastic uh, relative strength. And most importantly, it's still green in the nine period moving average. You can't fight that. Look, it's been green all the way in the last move up from nine uh, uh, nine nineteen this morning at uh, 44.84. And here we are at 45.13 in just this last phase. So you've got your peak D, uh, leg D right now in the five-minute chart. That's your objective, right? This is where you can start to think about other things. Where Do I take some money off? Do I prepare? Maybe uh, I, I don't know about shorting in a market that's like this. This is going to be tough to do. Any short will be very short-lived or very, very short-lived if uh, it just keeps going. This is just a leg D in the in the ten minute chart. So with that said, let me the questions that came in um, is one is uh, I wrote it. Oh, there it is. So within that context, if you're looking at the daily um, and the IWM, which has been the laggard, and there should be some kind of a pullback, surely uh, shorting something like the IWM would be appropriate. I think that's the question. Let me get the exact question. Um, assuming you agree a short-term pullback will be coming soon, IWM is looking like a good short. Agree? Again, only short-term time frame. Uh, yeah, you know, this is only playing catch-up right now, the IWM. This is the first time I can say from the technicals that it's, it's in play. The nine period actually flipped positive a couple of days ago. This is the Russell 2000. Any pull 
oh man, any poor, you know, let me just talk about this very briefly. You know, I talk about the dark news cloud cover, and I was saying the other day, the reason why we want to do uh, why that Tuesday after the low was made on Friday, and there was a terrific turnaround, the VIX index did not scream to the upside. Why I said, um, I love, I would love to get into subscribers, something that embraces the Dow, the QQQ, the S&P, the, the um, XLK, the AI, uh, artificial intelligence area, just something that has everything. And that we're going to use Microsoft in this case as, um, as a, in a way, a proxy for the Dow. We are still long positions in the Dow, but I wanted to use that as a proxy. So um, now what we're looking at is that Microsoft, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was going to show you this particular chart here. Yeah. So this chart, yeah, I talked about, I spoke about the dark news, Chapway dark news cloud cover. And I used the Dow chart and I said, I believe that I have to consider that this is internal low and this is the residual low. And therefore, that's why we want to go for something that's kind of generic to many areas that could really show some upside integrity and sustaining uh, uh, strength. So that's why we chose M Microsoft. But look what's happened. It's broken out of this thing, and we don't really have a dark news cloud cover. And we, in the markets, you just look at every one of these things. You had interest rates, you had something fed, you had whatever it was. Um, you had a major something that the news, that the market was taking very seriously. That's why it pulled back. And now what I'm saying is, I, I just don't see it yet. I believe it will come again, but it isn't here yet. So with that said, I, you can't, I don't want to go to the short side of something that is just now showing that it is wanting to participate and it never did. And I just showed you the RTH, the, the retail index. I showed you the XRT. I think we, there are a whole bunch of, there's a panoply of areas that are waking up and they are very important. So how to go, go on the long side is a little difficult, I know. But this is just beginning its move. So I would rather say in the IWM, you don't have to go two times or three times long. At 177.29, since you spoke about the IWM, why not just nibble on the IWM at 177? I know that you are prepared to look at the things in a much longer term way. And then if you can get a break below the low of 174.22 today, you would add on. So you start at just a small position. I wouldn't short waiting for that near second position because this is just waking up and thank goodness you can see it's very delicate this is a long term since 2022 that whole 163 ish area has been the key support if it turns that into major support because the uh, the the weekly technicals start to improve then it's going to help the monthly so i just say risk reward I think it's a little, I can't, at this particular point, shorting, I'd wait to short, and I will be waiting to, to re-enter the short side uh, when I st start to see peak Ds in the indices. So let me just put it that way. So you can do it. I, I just can't sanction it as a move at this particular point, especially if you're treating it almost like a catch-up thing. Whoops, I missed that. And I'm going to try to make it up. Don't do that. And so I'm just saying, I'd rather be looking at this as a potential start, especially as, as of now, it's above all the resistance levels. It still has to go to the 178 and then 180 is the 200-period moving average uh, resistance. So the only thing I would say is I'd probably want to start a little bit of a short, even if intraday it starts to pull back. Um, and I, I, maybe you could even wait instead of 177.05, made for the 176 level, 175. I, I hope I'm making that clear that just I'm talking about uh, risk reward. That's all. Uh, in Vonix, uh, we did not get. We did get back. We had a great move earlier on. Then we tried to get in the other day. We took a little bit of a loss. I. I. This is a in a Vonix. In Ovix, sorry, in Ovix Corporation, silicon anode, lithium ion battery, 3D cell architecture. The question is. Um. um 
at low risk options on Friday, thinking of rolling them into something a little higher risk as I see an attempt at last week's high coming. You know, that whole AI area, it goes in and out of favor. This is the time that it really should start to pick up again. And I'm this is the battery I'm including plus the AI stocks. Give me a little, I'll get a little work done during this break. When I get back, we'll talk about it. Okay. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Yeah, so as far as Envonics is concerned, yeah, it's at a very nice move. At the end of the day, if it's still holding above 11, I'd say yes. But um, I, I'm just a little concerned. The weekly chart is really not that great. So that's what I'm looking at. And I'm putting the same category. So what it would need is today's high is 11.32. By 2 o'clock this afternoon, it needs to have popped over that to 11.40 and holding very nicely above 11.22. And then I'd agree with you. So it's a kind of a work in progress. Uh, ALKK. Yeah, this is a very nice move stuck on the 200 period moving average. It's going to be very important that we see ALKK, this is ARK Innovation ETF, start to move much better than this. I had considered it for subscribers. I am still considering it. Uh, why? Because I think these are the laggards, and I don't know yet. I have to do analysis at the end of the day to say, hey, are we finally seeing it broaden out into the areas that were just horrendously weak? If that's the case, yeah, then what you want to see is them pushing away from the 200-period uh, moving average up into the 42, 
4220 area by tomorrow. That'll be really nice action. So we'll see if there is follow through. Um, question came in, do I think... Um, yeah, so obviously, anytime you're looking at this, um, you, you will have to say, uh, let's see, with the market, let me do this quickly. We'll use the Dow just for the moment. With the, with the Dow breaking out to a new uh, high intraday from the early morning spike to the upside, um, up 519, this is absolutely the biggest short squeeze we've had in quite a while. Uh, other than that turnaround that was that uh, the 30 was the 31st of October. So if the Dow is holding really well and he's above 420 after two o'clock, I think you're going to get the short squeeze going into tomorrow as well. So with that said, this is a fantastic action. I want to see a broadening out. I want to be able to see other stocks that you can now get into. Uh, I, I want to have a big wide variety. Don't forget tomorrow, Larry's uh, webinar coming up. She's fantastic. See you all.